Hi, I'm Susan from BakeWithMom.com. Today we're going to make chicken pierogi soup. So I'm going to turn on my burner. I'm using some frozen pierogies and I started with two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to do half of my pierogies. It should be mini, but unfortunately I couldn't find mini today. So we're going to do half of these large pierogi. And we're going to let them cook for about two and a half minutes on each side. We're going to put in another tablespoon of oil now. And here I have three quarters of a cup of carrot, three quarters of a cup of onion, and a half a cup of celery. Put that in. We're going to sweat this, which means we're going to cook it until it gets soft and a little transparent. And we're also adding a tablespoon of fresh thyme. This is what sweating looks like. Now we're going to add to it a half a cup of dry white wine. I like to use a Pinot Grigio. And we're going to deglaze our pan with that. And we're also going to add six cups of chicken broth. Now we're going to get this to simmer. Simmer is just a little bit before a boil. It starts to just boil along the edges. So it's starting to simmer along the edges. And we don't want it to be a full rolling boil. We just want it bubbling lightly like it is. While it's simmering, we've got uh, three tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're going to melt that at medium low. Now that our butter is melted, we're going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And to this now, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of sour cream. We're going to use a full cup of sour cream, but we want to start out with just one quarter of it to get it blended into our roux. And then we're going to add the rest. And keep stirring it constantly, and you're going to go about two minutes. So this is what it looks like when it's completely blended. We're going to now put it into our soup pot. We're going to whisk it. And we're going to add three cups of diced chicken that has already been cooked. We're going to add our pierogies. We're going to bring this to a simmer again and let it simmer for 10 minutes. There's your chicken pierogi. Enjoy!